The spaces direct is software defined shared nothing storage. It is a bit like VMware vSend and Starwind Virtual Send. In this video, I will show you how to configure two node storage spaces direct. First, have a look at the architectural diagram and hardware requirements. You need two servers or PC, even you can use virtual machine also. Every server must have three hard disks, one for operating system and two for storage space and two gigabit network interface card. For production environment, RDMA supported 10G LAN card is recommended. Servers must be connected with domain controller, a 10G or 1G switch similar to your LAN card. The storage spaces direct actually works on Windows failover cluster. So you need to install Windows 2016 data center edition and failover clustering features in every node. Let's see how to do it. First install Windows 2016 data center edition and open server manager. In dashboard, select add roles and features. Next, in feature list, you will find failover clustering. It may require additional packages. Click next and then install. It will take some time to complete. You can close it. Installation will run in background. You can see the progress in the notification area. Installation completed. In tools menu, here is our failover cluster manager. Now it is empty because we don't have any cluster till now. Now we are fully ready to configure storage spaces direct. Storage spaces direct don't have any graphical user interface. So we have to use Windows PowerShell. You can find a lot of commands in internet. I have collected and summarized those commands to make an installation process easy. First we need to create a QoS policy to prioritize the network traffic. In networking part, first command will show the list of network interface cards. In this tutorial, we are using two network interface card, Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2. In the next command, we will create a virtual switch called SCT switch. Adapter name must be replaced with the real adapter name. In this case, it will be Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2. After that, create two virtual network interface card SMB1 and SMB2. Finally, enable RDMA if your network card supports it. Before cluster test, please give a relevant name of your servers. In this case, it is server 1 and server 2. And both servers must be a member of domain controller. Finally, run enable cluster storage space direct command to create a S2D cluster. Login to any node, run failover cluster manager, click connect to cluster, type the cluster name or node name. Failover cluster manager will find the cluster. Cluster manager has connected with the cluster S2D cluster, the storage section. It automatically created the storage pool. Here you can see the storage space direct automatic created a cluster pool using physical DXS of two servers. Now we can create virtual DICs. I have already created some virtual DICs. On top of these virtual DICs, we can run file server or virtual machines both node are online and we have already assigned some file server role and virtual machine roles. Now you can live migrate 
virtual machine to from one node to another now it is in server 2 after live migration it will be moved to server 3 migrating two node storage space direct can tolerate one node failure to work with properly you need to configure a file share witness to maintain the quorum to do that right click on cluster select more actions configure cluster quorum settings click next click advanced quorum configuration select all nodes select configure file share with witness provide the shared path click next to create witness that's all for to not storage space direct as you know storage space direct based on command line to know how to monitor storage space with gui please view my others video in this series please subscribe to my channel more exciting videos are coming every week